Today, I want to talk about the fact that Harry Potter is over. My childhood has ended. The fandom is closing its doors. There will be no more Wizard Rock or Muggle Quidditch or podcast or conferences and especially no more HPA. Or at least that's what the muggles think. And by muggles, I mean the news, media, and all of our friends and family who can't understand the fandom no matter how hard we try to explain it to them. The one thing I want them to understand above all is that this is not the end of Harry Potter. It wasn't the end in 2007, and it isn't the end now. All of these things that the fandom has spawned weren't created to celebrate each book or movie release. They were inspired by the story by the ideas and the characters and the magic of the story, and none of that goes away because the last film came out. Something I didn't really understand until recently when I've been hearing everyone talk about the fandom after Deathly Hallows Part 2 and seeing everyone at LeakyCon was how exactly the Imagine Better Network fits into the future of the fandom. When I was at LeakyCon, there were tons of people in costume, and it was awesome! There were people walking around in Hogwarts uniforms, and Gryffindor ties, and Ravenclaw ties, and then there were people wearing ties that were striped red and navy, and I was like, what house is that? And then there were people wearing bow ties, and there were some with brightly colored sunglasses, and hats like this. And it was like, we're not just Harry Potter fans anymore! We're Gleeks, and Whovians, and Star Kids, and Pokemon trainers! And the thing is, we've taken that passion and excitement that we found in Harry Potter, and we haven't decreased it by having other interests. We've exploded it into all of the other fandoms so that we can meet tons of new people and share the morals that we learned in Harry Potter with those fandoms and connect with them. And and that's what the Imagine Better Network is. Right now, for most of you, Imagine Better is probably a weird name that we picked for the contest we're currently holding or the phrase from J.K. Rowling's Harvard commencement speech that we keep repeating everywhere. But what it really is, is a network of fandoms that we've started, so all of these excited nerds can get together and bring these stories to life. It's the ideas behind the Harry Potter Alliance, but for every story ever told. When we did Helping Haiti Heal and HPA for the Win, we teamed up with Nerdfighters and Buffy fans and Twilight and any fandom we could connect with to achieve some of our biggest accomplishments to date. That is the kind of thing the Imagine Better Network can do. And that is the kind of thing that says to all those naysayers that the Harry Potter generation is not over because the books and the films have all been released. The story will live on, and we will continue to bring it to life in all the ways that we know how. Because... 